Welcome to this short introductory video. How to install the CRISP analyzer using KiteMatic and Docker. First, if you navigate to the GitHub page, scroll down to find the information about how to download and install the CRISP analyzer. Please also make sure that you have enough system requirements as it's shown here. We recommend at least a dual core processor with 8 gigabytes. Also check that in case you use it for commercial purposes that you acquire all the licenses that you need. CRISP Analyzer is free for non-commercial use only. If you scroll further down, you pass a change log and you will see the user interface based installation. This is what I will show you today. There's also the installation via the command line, but in this case it's user interface based. So we need Docker and we need a Docker toolbox with KiteMatic. That's the user interface we are going to use. So first we start with going to the Docker website and downloading the Docker installer. The Docker installer is available for all modern operating systems, but KiteMatic is only available for Docker and uh, for Mac and Windows. So go and download in my case for Mac. For Windows it's more or less the same procedure. Go and download, install it. For Mac it's quite easy and then start Docker. The next step, please make sure that you start the Docker after you installed it. And then we can go on and download the Docker Toolbox from the Docker Toolbox website. Docker needs to be run in the background for the next steps. So go to the website of the Docker Toolbox, download the Toolbox either for Windows or for Mac and install it. Linux operating systems are not yet supported. After you download it, it will ask you how to proceed and you will just select Use KiteMatic. This tool is still in a beta, but it gives you a nice interface that you can use to start, stop and adjust the CRISPR analyzer settings. So start KiteMatic. Please note, if you use KiteMatic to start CRISPR analyzer, you cannot use the Cosmic Database or the localist gRNA re-annotation. For this, you need to start CRISPR analyzer using the command line. So in case you wish to use the localist general annotation or cosmic, just check out the other tutorial. So we're going to start Cadmatic, and in case Docker is not running, it will ask you. So just start Docker, we try and you will see the Cadmatic interface, which offers you access to the Docker Hub, where you can find CRISPR Analyzer. So just type in CRISPR Analyzer and you will find a card popping up. And if you click on create, it will automatically install the latest version. If you click on the three dots next to it, you can select which version. So in this case, we just go and stay with the latest version. Click on the X and then click on Create. And Cardmatic will connect to the Docker Hub, download CRISPR Analyzer and start it. Since the file is quite huge, roughly 3 GB, this might take a while to download. But anyway, we're just patient and after that, Cardmatic will automatically start a CRISPR analyzer, which you can see with the log files and the running node there. How to access it is easy. Just look for access URL, copy it, and paste it into your favorite web browser. Every time you start or stop CRISPR analyzer, this might change. By typing it into your web browser, you will see the CRISPR analyzer coming up. You can just do your analysis as you like. The read count data and all the additional sample data is also available. For this, an internet connection is required. Just to show you again, this is the access URL that needs to be pasted into your browser. Some settings can be adjusted, such as the proxy settings or the inactivation of the Enricher web service. So in this case, just click on settings and you see all the parameters that you can change, for example, the number of threads Bote can use, the maximum upload size, or the proxy. Click on Save, and then don't forget to restart the CRISPR analyzer. What you can do is, it's quite easy to change things here. You can also change ports if you like, but still stay with the settings. If you want to restart or stop CRISPR analyzer, you can just do it. You just see, after stopping it, it's grayed out. So we can just start it again or inactivate.
If you want to remove or upgrade to the latest version, you can just on the left side where it shows you the Chris Banalizer container, click to remove it and just download it again using, for example, the latest version directly. By this, you can always stay on track. Also, have a look at the website to see once an update has been released. Thanks for watching and for any more information visit crispr-analyzer.org